I, I ended up being homeless. It was, uh, for one, I'm lucky I survived. Uh, that's the important thing. You know, I, was, I became an avid drinker, I became a drunk. I never took drugs or smoked or anything, never did any of that until I lost her. And my life just went to shambles after that. By the time I started to hurt myself, um, I tried to commit suicide, tried to kill myself. My father thought I needed help, so that's when my recovery started beginning. I was actually residing under a bridge near a rail yard, uh, yard close to town here. And I was there for probably three years, just trying to uh, survive and, uh, and uh, continue to recover. I heard of Mercy Haven, and they finally took me in. And that's when my uh, life started taking a turn for the better. Mercy Haven helps me by uh, uh, helping me with uh, my sobriety, uh, which I've been sober for eight years now. And uh, they, they help me with uh, anything that requires help. Uh, you know, if there's anything I need, they will do anything I can to help me with. I'm just a different person today. <laughs> Getting off the streets, showered, cleaned, food in front of you every day. Uh, you know, if it's anything I learned in life, everybody needs help, and uh, they're very, very good on doing that. The thing about this agency that I have learned is that these folks care, and they do whatever. The poor need our help today, not next week.